When my boyfriend started playing Horizon Zero Dawn, I noticed something different about the main character. Take a look at the protagonist in all of the games we've reviewed so far. Are you noticing a trend? Well, Guerrilla Games said no more. Horizon is proof that people will buy games even if the main character is a redhead. For too long, they've been cast as evil, soulless villains. Teachers have souls. Plus, if Aloy was blonde, would she be able to hide in these bushes so good? How are you doing this? Also, she is a woman, and honestly guys, that was pretty exciting for me. I'd never seen my boyfriend play a female-driven story, and I was curious if it affected his immersion or enjoyment of the game at all. This game is cool. You know my playing as a girl? First of all, how dare you? <laughs> Let me tell you about a little game called Super Metroid. Okay. That's a Nintendo game with dead people on a title screen. <laughs> Who do you think they call for their hardest, scariest franchise? Little frumpy plumber? <laughs> Uh, -uh. Michael Jackson looking fruitcake cooking elf boy? Uh, uh They call Samus. You know what that game taught me as an eight-year-old boy? What? That when life gets rough and you're feeling lonely or lost, you just gotta be a strong, brave woman. Oh, okay. So, this isn't a review of Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who is a strong, brave woman that plays Horizon Zero Dawn. When my boyfriend went to Best Buy to get God of War, a PS4 Pro, and a big ol' 4K TV, he also bought Horizon, cause you know, who needs groceries? I knew he wanted to play God of War right away, but he still asked me which one I'd rather see first in 4K HDR on an OLED screen, and honestly that meant nothing to me. I watched Netflix on my Wii until 2016. But I looked at the boxes like, hmm, Lumberjack in a rowboat and my boyfriend's happiness? Or is that Merida? in Robot Jurassic Park? I chose God of War, and don't get me wrong, you guys know how much I loved it, but when he first started, he tried to tackle the Give Me God of War difficulty, and that game mode was brutal. Sony actually said that Give Me God of War is for people who like to wrestle polar bears in their undies, and my boyfriend has been injured wrestling our puppy in his undies. So while he was having a great time dying over and over to the very first enemy, I was like, <laughs> then when he finally did play Horizon, it took him weeks to get anywhere because he was like, hold up a minute, I want to try Uncharted 4. Hold up a minute, how about some Bloodborne? It was kind of like when he played The Witcher and would interrupt the story with Rounds of Gwent, only with Horizon, it was entire other PS4 games. Thankfully, when I told him that Horizon Zero Dawn had become our most requested game to review, and I was going to need him to replay it, he woke up the next morning like... This is the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Even my boyfriend, who spends hours on PC making Skyrim look like this and Crisis look like this, thinks that Horizon has some of the best visuals available. I don't know how programming or game engines or vinyl records work, but Zero Dawn has to be some kind of technical milestone in console gaming. The end of the world is a crooked steel paradise and a lush, colorful nightmare. Familiar environments like forests, deserts, snowy mountains and jungles have all been reimagined with just the right amount of psychedelia and mystery to make you feel like an alien on your own planet. Or maybe it's the facial animations. Sorry guys, but for as gorgeous as everyone looks, they act more like robots than the actual robots. I'm guessing they couldn't do motion capture because of how much content is in the game, which is totally understandable, but this is how I imagine the animation process. Let's see your everything is okay face. Um, no, 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 that's, that's not, that's, no. That's bad. No, don't do that face. Like this? No, just stop. And it really doesn't help that some of the voice acting is just as robotic. Especially this guy who I think was voiced by Tommy Wiseau. I'll kill myself! I'll kill myself before I hurt her! I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. And there's no way this guy wasn't modeled after Ron Swanson. Then there are the graphical errors and physics issues like NPCs who jiggle up and down when they walk, texture pop-ins between almost every cut in a cutscene, and Aloy's hair violently twerking in the wind even though she's indoors. Alright, get ready Aloy. Whoop. Hair. This kind of stuff doesn't usually bother me so much. In fact, glitches are low-key my favorite part of gaming. <laughs> Fixed it. But Horizon takes itself really seriously and lacks any intentional humor. But since the cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms... <laughs> So people's eyeballs freaking out during dialogue combined with poor animation and acting can really ruin the impact. 
None of that matters during actual gameplay though, because it's probably one of my favorite games in the open world stealth archer somersault stab loot and craft detective mode tower climb to reveal map then get side quest fatigue genre. Just when I thought all of those game mechanics had gotten stale for me as a backseat gamer, Guerrilla Games came along like, hmm, people are getting sick of the tower climbing thing, but what if the tower was Shadow of the Colossus? They seem to have challenged themselves to reinvent and improve upon popular game design, rather than just outright steal it and release another generic tower. Title. Even something as common as a bow and arrow feels like a brand new weapon. You ever shoot an arrow that blows the gun off a robot dinosaur? This will do. Yeah. Woo! Oh! Watching my boyfriend use the rope caster to tether a giant storm bird to the ground and then use slingshot grenades to blow off his armor was just epic. But also sad, because remember Rescuers Down Under? <laughs> And I really wish overriding a storm bird let you do this. Which brings me to a brand new segment I'd like to call, Are You There Game Devs? It's me, Girlfriend Reviews. Horizon Zero Dawn is obviously amazing, but for the sequel, Horizon Zero Dawn to Dusk, there are a few things on my wish list. Number one, let us climb wherever we want. Don't make us look for yellow nipples to grab. Number two, let us use the rope caster to create tight ropes and zip lines. This would add more strategy to combat and make getting down from mountains way more fun. Number three, give us a robot companion, like a dog or a hawk beeping and booping, ripping people's throats out. Number four, when my boyfriend was on a cliffside watching the heavens crack open, admiring your unrivaled weather and cloud systems, he wanted nothing more than to play Breath of the Wild. So, can you turn Aloy's spear into an airbender staff? Number five, a lot of this game is basically Running Simulator 2017, and I know you can ride these horsey boys, but can Aloy maybe discover like a high-tech motorcycle or something? Number six, when we level up, can you add some highs? Okay, thanks. Horizon Zero Dawn feels like one of those games no one will play after the sequel comes out. For the first entry in a franchise, it is absolutely mind-blowingly good. But now that the groundwork is laid, and all they have left to do is improve it, I feel like the next one is just gonna crush it. All right, guys, thanks for recommending this redheaded game. It is definitely in my top five now. Today my boyfriend is starting Devil May Cry 5 and I have no idea what the heck is going on with those games. Come watch me watch my boyfriend play on Twitch. Next week we'll either have a review of that or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which by the way, I just became the very best. All right, thanks again. Bye.